Then there's Clover. Clover is located in Bravo Beach, and isn't really doing much for the war. For the most part, she's just there to relax and look for cute boys. In this particular case, the character Justin from Total Drama has caught her eye. It's a pity that Johnny Bravo and Finn bug her every now and again on her time of relaxation. But even so, she does do missions given to her by Jerry, and gives the hero a few missions as well. Clover's Fusion is the female counterpart of Johnny Bravo's own fusion, and likes to try to flirt with the powerful teenage boys of the Cartoon Network universe, like Ben Tennyson, Rex Salazar, and others. Unfortunately, only Johnny Bravo accepts her offers, which the fusion finds absolutely useless. Like Sam, Clover has a mid-level nano mission called Totally Impersonated. In this mission, the hero gets a nanocom message from Sam, saying that she's worried about Clover and that she hasn't heard from her in a while. So the hero is sent to Bravo Beach, where they're quickly interpreted by Finn. Finn asks the hero what they're looking for, to which Sam answers. Finn then says he saw Clover going off with Mandark to the sandcastle a bit ago. You enter the lair and head to Fusion Clover's lair. There you find Clover imprisoned and Mandark knocked out on the floor next to her. You fight the Fusion, get the Nano, and free Clover. Clover is then disgusted by the fact that Mandark, of all people, would be into her, and debates whether or not to leave him there. Clover does engage in combat using various whoop equipment. Clover is dead in the future. Then there's Alex. Alex is located at Leaky Lake. In Fusion Fall, when the invasion started, she was outraged by the harmful effects that fusion matter could have on nature, so she ventured out to the woods in hopes of putting a stop to it. There, she met up with Laszlo and Patsy, and together the three of them founded a group of nature lovers in an attempt to preserve nature, but most importantly, save Leaky Lake. The group consists of the three founders, Gwen Tennyson, Mac, Number 3, Ulrich Stern, Flapjack, and a few others. But speaking of Flapjack, the young boy has been lost and abandoned after the destruction of Stormlong Harbor. There, he found himself in Leaky Lake, and Sam, feeling sorry for the kid, decided to keep an eye on him. Because of this, Alex has become a bit of a mother figure for her little buddy Flap, in place of Bubby for the time being. So because of all of this, she has you do missions in attempts to save Linky Lake, as well as send you on a search to find Bubby and Knuckles. Because the universe seems to hate her, Alex's fusion is one of the biggest polluters of Linky Lake. Like her fellow spies, Alex has a mid-level nano mission entitled Lake Break. In this mission, Alex's fusion has completely destroyed a water purification machine that had begun its work in Leaky Lake. Outraged, Ulrich Stern decides to go and teach the fusion a lesson, only for Flapjack to tag along. Alex figures this out and sends you to go save her friend Ulrich and her little buddy Flapjack. You fight the fusion, get the nano, and save the two. At the end of the mission, Max says that they need to go back to the drawing board and make the next purifier a little more fusion proof. Alex does engage in combat using various whoop technology. Alex is dead in the future. Finally, we have Jerry. Jerry resides in Whoop headquarters, where he sends out many missions involving his top agents, Sam, Clover, and Alex. In Fusion Fall, Jerry does what was previously stated and also manages public relations between Whoop and other companies. Though Jerry doesn't usually leave the headquarters, there are several exceptions. Jerry and Six don't see eye to eye, as Providence and Whoop are competing industries that have different methods of taking care of a problem, with Whoops being more humane, of course. Jerry will always be butting in on Six's missions to make his comments on Providence, as well as vice versa. Jerry's fusion is always making trouble for Whoop and trying to start fights between Whoop and Providence. Jerry does not have a nano, but it is in development and the nano item used is one of his ties. Jerry does have a little three-part arc entitled Questionable Leadership. 
the first part is given out by Jerry as he wonders what, where Clover and Sam are, as they usually report back to him for missions by this time. He sends the hero out to find them, and upon questioning many heroes, it is revealed that they are traversing the crystalline caverns along with Alex upon Jerry's order. Jerry is quite surprised by this. Part 2 is given out by Sam, in which you fight off various fusions in the caverns with the spies and make an escape out of the part of the cavern before it caves in. The hero and the spies make it out, ending part 2. In part 3, Jerry then comes to believe that Fusion Jerry is responsible, and you must get to the top of Whoop headquarters for this. Upon entering the lair, you fight it out with Fusion Jerry, who reveals that Fuse had ordered him to trap the three spies. But after the fight, Fusion Jerry is not seen for some time, needing to recharge. Jerry does engage in combat, though not often. Jerry is alive in the future. That's it for What If Totally Spies or Fusion Call. I hope you enjoyed this episode and the things I had in mind for these characters. Next up, we have a series who will truly save the day when it comes to fusions. Because when there's trouble, you know who to call. So until next time, this has been the Lyoko Gem, Warping Out. Yeah.